Today I'm going to talk you through drainage basins and the features of a drainage basin. This is a drainage basin in Scotland um, for the River Tay. This red line that we've got um, around the outside, this shows the edge of the drainage basin. So everything within inside this is the drainage basin. And a drainage basin is the area drained by a river and all of its tributaries. So that red line that we have on the outside, that red line that goes round, it's called the watershed. And the watershed simply is the boundary between one drainage basin and another. So Scotland will have many, many drainage basins and they will be spread all across the country. And all that red line does is it separates one drainage basin from the other. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to show you some of those features of the drainage basin on the River Tay, the one that we just looked up. So first thing, place I'm going to start um, is this area called Ben Lu, which is, this is the area that we call the source. So this is where the River Tay starts. And if we look right down here, this thin line right in the, in the middle of our screen is is where the river really starts. It actually starts somewhere high up on this mountainside. You can see that kind of track going up. So the source of the river would actually be there. As you can see from this area, it's it's upland, highland region. So it's uh, this is usually where we would find a source. The river is very, very small and the discharge of the river will be very, very, very small at this rate. So as we follow the river down, it starts to pick up a little bit of uh, more in size. Um, and uh, the discharge will start to get bigger, and we start to see um, these turns in the rivers, and they are called meanders. So we also see these stores. So this is a, a lock or a lake, which are stores of water, which we've kind of covered previously in previous le lessons. I'm going to kind of skip out quite a bit of it. This is Loch Tay, which is another big store. But eventually we'll come up to other features. And this is an interesting feature of a drainage basin. So this is where two rivers are meeting. So this is the River Tay and it's reaching the River Tummel. This is what, where these two rivers meet right in the centre of your screen. That is what we call a confluence. It's where two rivers are meeting. This other river, this smaller river that we've got um, joining us, this is called a tributary. And that all that, that a tributary is, is a smaller river that joins up um, with the, another river and makes the, uh, the, the, the first channel um, larger, adds more water to it. So uh, in the course of, of, uh, of a drainage basin, the River Tay will have lots of rivers feed into it. And as we can see, gradually as we go down, the river is a lot wider and it's starting to pick up. And gradually, as you can see, another confluence there and another river adding into this. So as we continue to go down, all the way down, twisting and turning, more meanders, and we'll come on to other river features of the river later on, eventually what we will get to, the river will be very, very wide. And this here at Dundee is where the river joins the sea. This is the mouth of the river. So this is where all of those tributaries have added to that river Tay and it's created um, the mouth of the river, which where the river ends and the water, the discharge goes into the sea. That are the basic features of a drainage basin. You should be able to, and you need to be able to know them for um, your GCSC. The last thing to really mention is that a drainage basin is an open system. This means that energy and matter can cross the boundary of the system. What that means in this case is that we could have precipitation um, which would fall down from the sky into our drainage basin uh, and then eventually it would make its way through the system and it would come out at the mouth. So it's both input through precipitation and then discharge leaving the system. You could also get um, water from another drainage basin. This drainage basin I've drawn um, next to it where water is actually going across the boundary into, into that drainage basin, the one of the River Tay. This therefore means it is unlike the wider hydrological system it is an open system, so inputs can come in and outputs can go back. And also, obviously, the energy from the sun is crossing the boundary 
and fueling most of the processes in the system. Therefore, it is an open system and not a closed system.